Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episodes one and two of season three of Minami Case. Let's go ahead and get started with episode one in three, two, one, go. That is a loud, kind of. And what about Kana? Unless Kana's still sick. You just... Well, you know what? It's okay. I did the same thing too. But I ain't waking up like at a certain time. Is everybody here though? And Kana? Damn, girl. Is that who I think it it is? <laughs> oh, okay. We're not getting the opening. Okay. Maybe at the end of this episode.
Many uh, Marie Antoinette. She gonna be waiting all day, every day. What if the gag for this, that for the entirety of this season, she's just waiting for her knight in shining armor? Oh my god. Unfortunately, no, you don't. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's what it usually is. It might not be even be a guy. It might be a girl. Yeah, did you? Pay up. <laughs> me when my mom asks me to borrow money and I'm like, hey yo, it's time. <laughs> Well, there's the opening. You guys are just making me even more hungry. The last time I ate was almost like an hour and 30 minutes ago. About. Yeah, before I started recording.
just he needs someone to talk to. He needs someone to just, you know, lay it all out. <laughs> he needs someone to listen to him. It's okay. We not judge him. Right. Hopeless. Oh my god, abandoned mission. Oh Jesus Christ. Ah. 
know who's here. Is okay, hold on. Is everybody about to show up today? <laughs> We're already at the end. We're only 17 minutes in. What is with shows <laughs> doing this? I have no problem with it. <laughs> There's a dead now this. You know, halfway through the episode, we're like, hey, we're going to go ahead and play the opening now. Yes, you know, it's the best time. Let's just go ahead and rock out for a couple of minutes and such, and then, you know, we just continue on with the episode, right? Right. Me and Ami Kai does the same thing, you know? Halfway through, it's like, yes. Let's jam out for a couple of seconds before we start the episode. Yes, 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 yes. And then, boom, let's do the episode. And then, yeah, 16, 17 minutes in. Ending. Yes. <laughs> Okay, now, Chiaki looked so adorable in her kimono, like, oh my god, the yellow was literally popping on her, like, oh my god, it made her eyes and everything pop. Same thing with Haruka and the purple, like, I, I don't know, because, like, you know how, like, de depending on, like, whatever your neutral or natural colors are that make your eyes or just, like, your skin color, um, or even your hair or anything just pop, something about that is just so, like... Worthwhile and very interesting is that I really love those. Well, guess we gotta go to the store. I also love how Fujioka just willingly, willingly just said, "Yeah, I'll go for you." Yeah, I, that boy is down bad. He been down bad since episode one. Excuse me. Yeah. That sounds interesting. That's the stew.
Oh, that's gonna be easy. Cause once he points it, he gonna walk in. Hmm. Hmm. No, it's not gonna move until. There you go. Husband. Right. Mm. Yeah, it definitely seems like he'll be damned. Oh, God. Ah, uh, yes. We cannot end episode one without a shirtless scene. Or, well, half shirtless scene. Did you see how many papers were wrapped up? Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. But no, because see, the thing is, he's also been desperate since like the beginning since we saw him. So I get it. Like, you will do everything in your power just to have, you know, make Hanukkah his. I get that, but, you know, sometimes I feel like you're taking it one step. I mean, you know, I really would have liked it if, with this episode, it would have continued the situation of, like, him traveling all the way to America, going to San Francisco, and him arriving in San Francisco and being like, all right, time to find Hanukkah. And taking the whole entire season and then coming back and finding out, oh, yeah, I didn't do the exchange student thing. I just decided to stay home. That would have been hilarious like because boy was like i don't know how much he paid we we all know last week we did look up how long it is from japan to san francisco california and such but i cannot even imagine the price point of that i mean because mm, it, it depends because california and you know depending on where you go and such on the different sides of the globe and such um that's still a long behind journey. That's the same thing if I go, like, if I'm like, okay, I travel from Florida to wherever to get to Japan. I know that's going to be, like, umpteen hours. I don't think I can get in, like, an indirect flight. I would definitely have to be, like, having a flight probably, like, if, if it was my dream. I would love to have a layover. <laughs> layover either in probably Paris or somewhere in Italy. And then take me there. If I have to sleep in the freaking airport for a night, I'm fine with that. I don't give up. Like, as long as, you know, next day I can go fucking Japan, you know? Yes. But go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode two. Alrighty, episode two in three, two, one.
Is it chocolate? I mean, it is something treat. It is food. You should wait until everybody is together. Here is the husband. <laughs> We're waiting for Haruka. Oh my god. Can we just talk about the fact that Devil Tiaki kind of looks like Misa Misa in a way? Teeny tiny bit. Chiaki.exe has broken. Baby has stopped working. There you go. Oh my god, are you okay? But see, the thing is, Fujioka, that is a Chiaki type thing. That's what Chiaki's going to do. Kana's not going to do something like that. Kana!
Poor baby. So it was just cookies? I want ice cream. Thank God I have ice cream in the fridge. <laughs> I just lost the beat. <laughs> I still fucked up. Oh my God. Oh, that's a Walmart. Walmarts and, you know, Sam's Clubs and the BJ store. Yeah. Or an Ikea. Yeah, Ikea is big. I've never been to an Ikea. I think we have one here. I just don't know where it is. Right. I mean, Kana definitely wrote that. Mm -hmm. The one time you wish Chiaki met <laughs> yeah, Chiaki had a phone. There you go. That's definitely a lie. Come on. This is Kana we're talking about. Freaking Kana. Oh, God. Ugh.
why would Maki... <laughs> it's more of he's annoying. That too. But he always wants to be shirtless. I mean, I'm not mad at that, but it is a little weird. Nobody should be telling him, hey, put your clothes back on, bro. What else, Bob? You gotta be friendly with the others before you get in, get to her. Yeah, that's usually the situation. You got this. Even though she's just over here causing chaos. Not like that, sir. That looks so wrong. God, no. Ha, ha, ha. 
All I'm gonna say is, why would you? <laughs> I can't get there yet. Why would you approach all three of them girls like with creepy behind hands? Like, yes, get along with me. No. <laughs> ran away from your behind and the other one slapped the crap out of you not once but twice twice my boy Boundary <laughs> oh my god I can't. I can't oh my god dude oh Jesus You just make it a family trip. That's when you phoned a friend, or you just go home, be like, Hey, can you come to the store with me? Like, I'm so confused. Because if you don't know your ish, like, Ooh. Poor baby. Tumor. Not the creepy hands. Oh my god! Sure, sure, Chiaki. <laughs> Whatever you say, babe. Hush, Okay, I stop. Shut up. Buy and suffer curry. At least she got to learn a new song. Good job, babe.
Well, you know, blame your future boyfriend slash husband, Hanukkah. That's how we ended it. <laughs> about the fact <laughs> what really made me laugh when he started singing was him putting the emphasis on turmeric <laughs> just okay so as someone who has been in chorus for like the longest time it literally gave me feels to when any of my chor <laughs> chorus teacher would be like I need you to put the emphasis on this word so that we so that the audience and my Self, we can feel that ish. And, you know, you hear that. He's like, oh, God. And so, <laughs> so I remember one time, like, somebody, I think it was for our, like, it wasn't, it was kind of an exam, but not really. So we had to watch ourselves um, during our performance and such on video and everything. And so I remember writing, I was like, yeah, the emphasis on this word specifically. Like, yes. And we literally talked about it as a class. And I was like, yeah, we did a lot of that. I was like, but I get it. But it's just the most hilarious thing. But, I mean, the good thing out of it is Chiaki ended up making, like, a really interesting, you know, curry dish. So, hey, congrats to her. But <laughs> none of this would have been possible if Haruka had given her the right memo pad. So, hey, once again, you just never freaking know. Honestly, for the start of third season, like, the... I, this is a wild freaking ride. <laughs> I didn't even know what else to say about it. I mean, season two was good. I really enjoyed season two a lot. But I feel like season three is just about to be on, like, a whole another level. The one thing I didn't say about it in episode one, um, once again in the art style. Like, it makes Chiaki, like, literally look a lot older. Especially with, like, the emphasis and, like, depending on how she, angle-wise, the way she looks with, like, your neck and everything. And then... Also seeing an older Chiaki, but like, you know, as, you know, her bad side and such. That was cute, but like, did I? She literally almost looked very, very similar to Misa Misa. So, <laughs> yeah, hands down. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> I, th this was something, but other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episodes one and two of season three of Minami K. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes three and four. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!